Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Veronica, known as Data Geek, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to extract data from a PDF using Python right inside Jupyter Notebook. We will be able to export it into a CSV file and view the data. So rather you're working with reports, invoices, or any kind of documents that hold important data, this tutorial is going to walk you through everything step-by-step. Step. So grab a cup of coffee, and open up Jupyter Notebook. So I use Jupyter Notebook to code in Python. It's one of my favorite tools for data analysis and to create step-by-step -step tutorials. If you're new to it and want to learn how to set up yourself, don't worry, I've got you covered. I have a link with a step-by-step -step video on how to download Anaconda Navigator. Now Anaconda Navigator, you're able to download and use Jupyter Notebook in no time. It's free, beginner friendly. Also, Anaconda Navigator not only has Jupyter Notebook, it also has a bunch of other cool tools you can utilize. But if you already have Jupyter Notebook, let's get started. First off, I wanna show you my data set. So this is my data set in PDF. And you can see it has customer ID, name, age, country, and total spent. We're gonna upload this into Jupyter Notebook. And to do that, we have to go to upload here on your right side and click on your file location on where that PDF might be. In my case, I have it under downloads. I click on that and then I click open. Once I do that, I will scroll down to the bottom and then here it is, PDF report data. So when you double click on it, it will open up your sheet and you can view it within Jupyter Notebook. See, it's already in Jupyter Notebook and it's called PDF report data.pdf. So now that we have it downloaded into Jupyter Notebook, now we can start coding. Let's start creating a new workbook. So you're gonna click on this new button here. It gives a drop down, click and select Python 3. So once you have this opened, we will go ahead and start. So first off, I want to do a big caption here. So I'm gonna do three number signs, and I want to call this how to extract data from a PDF using Python in Jupyter Notebook. And up here where it says code, I'm gonna do a drop down and select markdown, and I will run this. And we're gonna go to step one So we're gonna start by installing these two libraries. So we need PYPDF2 for general PDF readings and PDF Plumber for accurate table extractions. Make sure to do this step. Exclamation, PIP, install, PYPDF2, PDF Plumber, and you will run this code. However, I've already done this step, so I'm gonna go ahead and put a number sign here. And then I will go to our next step. We're gonna import our libraries. So we're gonna import P, lowercase y, PDF2. Then import PDF plumber. And then import pandas as PD. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to define the path. So define the path and we're going to call it file underscore path equals and then our PDF name. So if you don't remember your PDF name, just go back to your PDF that we uploaded. It's called PDF report data dot PDF. You have to do it exactly as it's called is going to pull this in. So PDF space report space data dot PDF. Single quotation. In step three, we are going to read PDF with PYPDF2 library. We will change this to markdown. This step, we're gonna be able to pull the entire table just by a few lines of code. 
So with open, open parentheses, file underscore path, comma, rb, single quotation, close that parentheses, as file. You need to see my colon, then reader equals capital P, lowercase y, and then PDF, uppercase, two, dot, PDF reader, open parentheses, file, close parentheses. Then we're going to print F, double quotation, number of pages. That's going to be our output. And then along with our output, it's going to be curly bracket open, L E N parentheses, reader, dot, pages, close that parentheses, close that curly bracket, double quotation, close that. Next, we're going to do page equals reader, dot, pages, open bracket, zero, text equals page, dot, extract underscore text open and close parentheses we want to print open parentheses double quotation text from py pdf2 semicolon lash n double quotation comma and text close that parentheses. So we're going to go ahead and run this to view our data. So here it is. This is our data set. We have number of pages is one, text from PYPD2, customer ID, which is here on your far left, one, two, three, four, five, name, age, country, and total spent. And there's your total spent there. So that's how to view your data from a PDF. So now in step four, we are going to read the PDF with PDF plumber for table. Change this to markdown. And to do that, we're going to do with PDF plumber dot open, open parentheses, file underscore path as PDF semicolon. Now first page, we're going to call this first underscore page, and that's going to be PDF dot pages, open bracket, zero, close bracket. Text equals first underscore page dot extract underscore text. Open and close parentheses. Next, we will print, open parentheses, double quotation, raw text. That's going to be our output, slash, n, double quotation, comma, text. And we will run this. And I forgot to close that parentheses. File path, file underscore path close parentheses. Let's see, what did I do next? Oh, and I forgot to close that one. Close parentheses. And here we go. So this is, isn't is an error, it's just a warning, but it's fine. So right here we have our raw text. This is our output. And then anything below that is our text. So we have customer ID. You can see it now it has spaces. And again, this is using PDF plumber. And you can see a difference from using this one here, the PYPDF2. So these are two different ways to view your data set from a PDF. So now we can extract the table. So table equals first underscore page dot extract underscore table 
open and close parentheses and we're going to print open parentheses double quotation table data semicolon slash and double quotation comma table close that parentheses and I will run this now you can see an extract of your data Now in step five, we're going to convert to data frame. Change this to markdown. And to do this, we're going to do if table semicolon df equals pd dot data frame. Open parentheses table. open bracket one, quotation, close bracket, comma, columns, equals, table, open bracket zero, close bracket, close parentheses, and we're going to print this DF. And we will run this. And here we go. So we converted to a data frame. So now that we easily converted this into a data frame, now we can easily clean it and save it. So that's what step six. We're going to save the data set to a CSV file. And to do that, we call it df dot two underscore Excel, open parentheses, and let's name this PDF underscore extracted underscore data dot XLSX single quotation, comma, index equals false. Close that parentheses and run that. So as you can see, it ran smoothly. So where did the data set go? How did it get saved, right? So that's the question. The answer is it's saved as PDF underscore extracted data. So now if you go back to your file location in your Jupyter notebook, Right, where your file is. We saved it here. Now look at here on the bottom, PDF underscore extracted underscore data XLSX. So now what you can do is you can click on it and you can download here. And you go ahead and allow, download. So if you open that up, oh, I downloaded both, but that's fine. But if you open that up, you double click it, and there it is. And you can go ahead and clean up your data in here. You can share it. You can do whatever you need to do with your data. And that is it. You've got extracted data from a PDF file using Python and turned it into a usable data set. So if you found this video helpful, give me a thumbs up, like, and please subscribe. Thank you for watching, and I will see you on the next video.